Hi, my name is Jenny Pryor, also known as Living Bread Baker, and I'm a former special education teacher turned homeschool mama of three young kids and sourdough baking teacher. So I know what it's like to break things down into digestible pieces for any type of learning for any learner. And I also know what it's like to, to have real life going on around you and try to fit sourdough into your real life. Um, so I am passionate about, about supporting um, new and beginning and intermediate sourdough bakers. So I would love for you to join me. And today I wanna to share one tip from a larger video about sourdough starter discards. I hope this is helpful and if you wanna see more tips, just see the description below. I have two starters here. This one was refreshed last night, so you can see this one is active and it's really at its perfect stage. It's just started, it got, got to its peak, to that very top line where you can see um, the starter has gotten up, the line is just falling just below. Now is the perfect time to use it because it's just fallen at, you know, about 16th of an inch, showing that it's reached its maximum capacity of, it's all the little microorganisms have eaten, they're all active and completely ready to use in dough. So this is active. Um, and then this one is one that I refreshed um, almost 36 hours ago. And you can see it's fallen considerably. It got way up here, um, but now it's down here. And if you could look at the texture, I would say this looks like a salad dressing, like ranch dressing. Okay, so that is the really big difference is that this guy was fed last night around 9 p.m. and it is um, about almost two o'clock here. Uh, so this has been fed for quite a while ago, and so once it's active, it will stay at this active stage for a while, which is good to know. Sometimes this new sourdough bakers, they don't realize that that active stage is actually pretty generous, especially when you use white um, flour. So this is active, but in a few hours, um, usually it takes 18 to 24 hours for it to become discard. It will look more like this version right here. So that has the difference. Really, it's more time has passed. Um, for it to get from the active stage to discard. So those are the three stages of sourdough and it's a cyclical process. So first you would take a little bit of an active or discard batch. So I could take a tablespoon from here or I can use a tablespoon from here and I can refresh it. That means that I've taken that small tablespoon and I feed it with flour and water. So usually for one loaf of bread, um, for the recipes I teach in my class, I tell people to feed it 60 grams of water, which is about a fourth cup, and 60 grams of white flour, which is about seven tablespoons. Um, so that is how you refresh it. Next stage, um, at about six to 12 hours, depending on your room temperature, it becomes active, like this one. And it will stay in that active stage for several hours. Um, it depends, again, like in winter, that window will stay open pretty long once it hits its active period. In summer, it's a lot shorter because temperatures are hotter um, and it won't have as, you won't have as long to use it. But then after that time, if you do not use your starter and just let it sit, then it f becomes what I call discard. Okay, so those are the three stages and that's the difference between an active sourdough starter and discard. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, that quick tip. Um, I also have a, a sourdough quick start guide on my website that you can get for free. So feel free to check out the link below and I hope that that can help you, help you and um, just leave me a comment. Send me a note to tell me how this video helped you today.